Hi, this is Hong Fei. Today I'm going to show you how to use the click matches to monitor your uplink rate. Uh, actually, the concept is very easy. Pretty much is just see how many people type the address, email address in your uplink page. And so you can see which uh, squid page or landing page is most effective or uh, the quality of traffic and so on. Uh, first, you go to click matching and go to a link. And uh, you should actually, uh, I already created something, I already something over there, but uh, I'll just show you uh, track conversion. Okay, you should have a link called track conversion. You can track the action, which is tracking your RP engagement. Normally, tracking after the RP normally is a thank you page, and sales page normally is uh, after thank you page. You have a sales page, which is mean the your um, the uh, or the one before, uh, after thank you page. Most of people just need to use the action with checking the app in way and also sales page with checking the sales page way. Not many people actually have the sales page, uh, thank you page uh, uh, nowadays, but some people still use the sales page, uh, thank you page like I do. Okay, so the concept is uh, quite simple. All you have to do is just have a link to um, your sweet page and from your sweet page to your uh, sales page and between them you need to have a like a redirect so tell the click match that you already finished that process so the click match will understand and will basically uh, just uh, calculate the action over there so uh, if you are using the let me try to get my notes here. Okay, um, not just my uh, writing may not so good, special writing computer. <laughs> so here, so we have a squeeze page, right? So squeeze page, we go to the thank you page, and from thank you page, we go to the sales page. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. And this is called the uh, action tracking, this is called the uh, engagement, and this is called the uh, sales. And basically, all you have to do is, uh, most, time, most of the time, most people, they don't use this one, they just use two, okay. So, to actually tracking the, uh, the action, which is API Ray, all you have to do is copy the, uh, the API page, this one, uh, I was just having the, this one. Copy that code, okay, remember that code, go to the tool here, trade conversion, that code. Just copy the entire code here, image equals source here, entire thing to here. Just copy the code here, okay? Okay, copy the, your code here. Okay, so we're gonna actually, in the next about 10 minutes, we're gonna talk about how to do that, and probably next one we can talk about this, but actually they are same thing. We understand this part, you understand that part. Okay, so the first step is, uh, you have uh, this uh, uh, link, the first thing. And this thing, you don't want to link directly to your Squid page. I will tell you some other uh, time, uh, but this is a different topic. Um, I just create a demo and I link to here, and this link is actually a rotator. And why I do not link to directly to a, a Squid page, because I always do in the Squid page testing. I have a different version of Squid, Squid page, which is my landing page, and I'm testing which one is. Uh, most it's much better so I can use the better one and uh, get rid of the uh, the not so good one so I'm going so that's why I create the uh, uh, rotator called squeeze page rotator and a squeeze page rotator I actually create uh, I can create multiple URL with multiple uh, squeeze page and this is my first squeeze page over here so this is my squeeze page and what I do is using this incoming here, this link, and link to this rotator. And this rotator basically has multiple squeeze page. I can create more from ending over there. But this demo, I just show you, show you one. And the reason I recommend this setting is just because you can test multiple squeeze page. All right, that's back to the topic of the track. So to track from your squeeze page over here, and you can actually click the uh, link and you will see this page. And this page basically show you what is your real squeeze page, okay? So your real squeeze page for this first squeeze page is this one. And where does this one come from? This one, it could be anything from WordPress, whatever your squeeze page, right? So your squeeze page pretty much is uh, 
uh, for my case is here. Okay, this is my Swiss page. I'm using optimized phrase, but if you're not using optimized phrase, it's all fine. It's an instant builder or just uh, HTML or WordPress, it's all fine. So I'm just saying that in the form here, submit form, you will see that this Swiss page actually is connecting to a middle page. Okay, I should say, uh, let me just put different color. So in order to track in the code, okay, tracking the action with this up in code, you need to actually provide the middle page. So the middle page is uh, like a squeeze page, right? And the middle page here, okay, something over here. Okay, this is what put our being redirect and to the uh, to the sales page okay just suppose we don't have this part okay we just this two so we you have a squeeze page connect to the uh, redirect page and go into a sales page how do we do that first in a squeeze page you want to connect to a redirect right so uh, in the Airweber form code because you also want to save the emails on the Airweber form you know make sure you connect into uh, your redirect page and this is my redirect page okay squeeze demo okay that's my redirect page let's see the redirect page so I just create this redirect page okay let me just uh, um, uh, close and show you okay this is my redirect page uh, let's see okay so this is one so you can load in squeeze demo okay this is actually I'm trying to do I'm connecting to loading squeeze demo okay loading squeeze demo and uh, I'm using optimized price again but you don't have to use in that one really all right so you just go to the uh, demo here and I have nothing really nothing here all I have this my note all I have is uh, the uh, the tracking code code for the uh, um, the click match you remember that tracking code uh, go here and go the track conversion okay tracking code this one action code one two four six nine so I have that one put into over here okay one two four six nine so basically I just copy paste here so now I just making a page which is in the middle called this is called uh, redirect right the reason I call it redirect again because uh, this is actually a uh, A page which is a uh, um, it's nothing I just uh, have a code and for this code uh, I have a HTML uh, redirect I can just show you the background HTML and background is just a HTML refresh okay refresh or redirect and uh, R right R refresh or redirect and then go to this is a sales page so what I do is uh, I have uh, uh, the squeeze page right connecting to a refresh or redirect and go to a sales page. My sales page in this example is digital attitude, right? And the squeeze page here, all right? This is squeeze page. Connect again. Connect to the uh, redirect, uh, refresh, uh, redirect page. Okay, refresh. And re redirect page connecting to a squeeze page. And you also have uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, click magic tracking the. Uh, or put into a refresh page so that's it so once you implement that and in your click magic you will actually see uh, the result just like I'm doing over here uh, you will have a click and you have you can see the conversion rate for your up in page thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you you learned a lot from this and thank you and God bless you have a very good day bye bye